Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. See the soul, the truth lies within, and now you're going to listen to the 15th march of a godly blessing. In this godly blessing, God Father is asking us children to imbibe the practice of getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning, that is Amrit Vela, and imbibing the power of victory or the tilak of victory or a remembrance of victory. Let's explore this beautiful blessing. Baba says, May you apply a tilak of victory. We put a tilak in Indian customs, we put a tika over here or a tilak over here and that is a symbol on our forehead that may you be soul conscious when you get up in the morning at four o'clock may you meditate and may you be soul conscious throughout the day and that is a practice which we do at Brahma Kumaris so God says may you apply a tilak of victory on your forehead at Amrit Vela that means early in the morning at four o'clock the time for meditation and become a self-sovereign that means have control over the self with a right to the kingdom of the world Let's get into the details. Every day at Amrit Vela, apply a tilak of victory. That is, a tilak of remembrance on your forehead. That I am a soul, I am the child of Supreme Soul. If we miss out the Amrit Vela, then this power reduces. If we keep on doing the Amrit Vela, this power of soul consciousness increases. The sign of devotion is a tilak and a sign of being married is also a tilak. So in India, when you go to a temple, you get a tilak on your forehead. That means a pandit or a devotee or a higher priest will put a tilak on your forehead. That is to remind you actually that you are supposed to be soul conscious. But mostly those people don't know when they are putting it also and those who are getting it put on their forehead. So again God says it is also a sign of being married. So in a marriage also husband and wife they put a tilak on to each other and that is a sign that yes I am looking at you as a soul and you also looking at me as a soul. So that is also a sign of a tilak. The sign of receiving a kingdom is also the tilak of sovereignty. So when a king is being put onto the throne, he is given a tilak Indian customs. That means may you be soul conscious and may you rule with soul consciousness, not having any kind of disparity amongst people, not having any favoritism towards any other person, but you're looking at the soul, looking at their habits and sanskars, and on the basis of that, you're making a decision as a king also. Same goes in a family, same goes as a husband, wife, same goes as a person who's in a job or in a business. One has to be soul conscious. When someone is going to attain victory in an auspicious task, a tilak is applied on him before he goes. So for victory also, may you be soul conscious, may you use all your values and all your soul powers, which we learn in Brahma Kumaris, what are those virtues, values and soul powers, and may we become victorious all of you are married to the father and this is why you have an imperishable tilak how can we be married to the father as a soul we are married to his methods which he's teaching us that means he is a husband and we as his wife as a soul are taking the directions from him physically it's impossible to get married to the supreme being but we are married to his methods so all of you are married to the father and this is why you have an imperishable tilak. Now have the tilak of self sovereignty. Now God says that may you have a control over your mind, over your intellect and over your habits by becoming somebody who gets up in the morning at Amrit Vela and practices soul consciousness and you will receive the tilak of the kingdom of the world in the future. On the basis of this, a soul conscious being can only enter the gates of heaven. Many people ask, can Hindus not enter? Can Muslims not enter? Can Sikh not enter? Can a Christian not enter the gates of heaven? God says any soul who is soul conscious can enter, irrespective of which religion were they born in, can enter the gates of heaven. Because God is soul conscious, so he will allow only souls who are soul conscious and pure to enter the gates of heaven. For more details, you can go and find out in the seven day course at Brahma Kumaris by doing the seven day course and get to know more in details with this Om Shanti.